Science World in Vancouver. Hands up who's ever been to Vancouver. Hands up who's been to Science World in Vancouver. Oh, a couple of people. Yeah. Nice. Now, Science World in Vancouver is a lot of fun, but we also think that Chetwin is pretty fun. So we decided to bring our fun shows here so that we could enjoy Chetwin and you can enjoy Science World shows. Yes. So, we want to thank our presenting sponsor, Windsor Plywood, who let us come here for free, so thank you to them. And we also want to thank your teachers for having us here today, so give them a little round of applause. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Today, we are bringing my favorite show, Fantastic Forces. Mm -hmm. All about different forces. But we need some help <coughs> from you, our audience. Mm -hmm. Yes. We will need three things from our audience in order to make sure this is the best possible show. Yes. Number one. Mm. Number one, you're doing this fabulously at the moment. You guys are currently in the safety zone, mm. which is great, because if you come any more forward, you will be in the danger zone. Too bad. Yeah. Danger zone. There may be occurrences that you do come into the danger zone, and that is when you come and help us out for a little bit of fun. Exactly. Sometimes we may need a volunteer. Yes, we have some expert volunteers, but I want to make sure everyone knows exactly how to volunteer. So, the first thing we look for in a volunteer is a nice strong arm reaching up to the sky. Maybe put some wiggly fingers on that arm. Nice. We've got to stretch out those volunteering muscles. All right, good. The next thing we look for is a nice big science smile. Three, two, one. Ooh. Nice, I think we can double the size of those smiles. Here we go, three, two, one, Beautiful. And the third and final thing we need is a nice firm seat of science, making sure that if we are on the ground, we are crisscross applesauce on the ground. And if we are on the bench, feet flat on the ground. Perfect. All right, let's try all three of those together. Three, two, one, Perfect. All right, nice. Now, anyone who is sitting on your knees or jumping up and down going, pick me, pick me, we will not pick you. All right? We good? Yeah. Love it. All right. There is one more thing, Ooh. as we have so much to show you. We brought lots of science with mm -hmm. us. It's very important that you are listening. So, at some point in the show, you're going to be so excited, Fantastic. you're going to want to talk to the person next to you. If that does happen, we need to get your attention back quickly, and we would do this. Nice. Yes. So, if we need to get your attention, we go three, two, one. Shh. All right. And we would ask you to do the same with us. Uh, and if you see any of your friends near you talking, just go. Shh. All right. So let's practice this now. We will see how quickly we can get quiet. All right. So I want you to take a look at some of the cool stuff we brought with us, and I want you to make a prediction. Make a guess about one thing we might do in this show, and I want you to share it with your friends sitting next to you. One thing, but keep an eye on up here, because at any moment, any moment, we might go three, two, one. Oh. 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 Not bad, not bad. All right. We're going to look at getting better and better throughout the show, so keep working on it. All right? Sound good? Yeah. yeah. Nice, all right. I think we are ready. We've talked about the safety zone versus the danger zone. We know how to volunteer. Hands down for now, we will ask you to volunteer when it is time. And we know how to get quiet quickly. Yes. I think it is time to get to the Fantastic Forces. What do you think, Ellen? Definitely. Part is time. Does anyone know what a force is? Or could give an example of a force? Yes, in the back in the gray shirt, you're sitting lovely. Gravity, exactly, that is definitely a force. Perfect, yes, gravity pulls us down to the ground. Mm. Maybe another example. Yeah, in the green shirt. Um, force is, some, is when um, you're pushing and pulling. Exactly right. Perfect, any kind of a push or a pull is a force. And those can be in different directions. And today we will look at forces that push or pull in multiple different directions. That's mm -hmm. perfect. In fact, in front of us, we have a tower. Tower that I wonderfully built. It's beautiful. Yes, 
But I did make a mistake. Okay. I, I put the tablecloth not quite fully underneath, it is only halfway underneath. Oh no. Yes, so I need to fix my mistake and I need to pull my tablecloth out. Oh. Yes, yes. So wait, if you pull the tablecloth out, will the tower fall down? No. Who says yes? Who says no? Who says I don't know, but I want to find out? No. Nice, hands down. Okay, let's see. In three, two, and one more thing. Oh. <laughs> I mean, this is a little bit tricky. Okay. So, I don't know how I should pull this out. So, mm. I have a couple of options. Option one, I could pull up like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if I pull up like this, what direction is the tower going to go? <laughs> it's going to fall down. Yeah, because yeah. if, you, if you pull up, then it actually pushes on the bottom of the tower. Mm. That's bad. Okay. It's not, not going to work. Yeah. I, I could sort of pull towards me. Yeah. Okay, but what about this on the side? Does anybody mm -hmm. see this on the side? Yeah, if we go straight out, part of the tablecloth kind of grips onto the side of the tower. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be good? No. No, no, no it's no. not going to be good. No. Well, I do have another option. I could, I could pull down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Who says yes? Yeah. Who says, I'm not sure. And who says, I don't know, but I want to find out. Nice. Let's okay. find out. Let's find out. In three, two, no. One more thing. One more oh. thing. Oh. I'm a little bit nervous about this one. It's a lot. It is. So I think I might need some help for this. Yes, I was thinking maybe an adult in our Ooh. gym might be able to help. An have adult, a like a teacher, maybe like a teacher. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, is there a brave teacher that would like to volunteer? Oh. Can we give a round of applause? All right, perfect. So Ellen is going to tell our teacher volunteer some secret tricks on how to do this. But I want to ask you a very important question. What is the force that is keeping this tower on the table? Why, why is it not flying? Let's say it all together. One, two, three. Yes! Gravity! Gravity is pulling all of us down to the ground. It is pulling the tower down to the ground, which means that gravity is very strong. So we just need to be a little bit sneakier so that gravity does all the hard work of keeping it on the table. So we just got to be nice and smooth and fast. All right. Okay, this is me. Do you think you could do it? Uh, no. No! Oh my goodness. All right. Well, we will see what happens either way. We will give our teacher volunteer a big round of applause. All right, here we go. All right. And in three, two, one. Oh my goodness! My tower. Impressive. It was wonderful. <laughs> so. We just saw our first force. Oh, let's come back to quiet. Yes. Three, two, one. Shh. Nice. So we just saw our first force, and that was a pull force. Perfect. Right. Right. So let's do that all together. Three, two, one. Pull. Yes. Nice. Good force. All right. So we just saw our pull, and now we are going to look at one of my favorite forces. My favorite force is going to involve a friend that I brought with me from Science World. I would like you to meet my dear friend, Chicken! This is my dear friend, Chicken. And Chicken has a dream. Chicken wants to do something that chickens cannot do. Does anybody know what that might be? Fly, yes! Chicken wants to fly. Now, who has an idea of how we can help chicken to fly? Hands up if you have an idea of what we could do. In the blue sweater, what do you think? We could put a string on it. Do we have a string? Uh, I don't have a string. I have a stick. Does that work? Yeah, that still works. All right, we're going to see if we could make him fly. Hold on, chicken. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, fly! 
Not bad, not bad. All right, does anybody have another idea, something we could do to help Chicken to fly? Who has an idea? What do you think? We could throw him. Perfect. All right. Chicken, is this okay? Yes, it's okay. All right. We have consent. Here we go. All right, Chicken, here we go. Three, two, one. Huh. Oh. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now, can anybody think of a way we could make Chicken go even further? Who has an idea? How about in the very back row in the black? Like an air pump thing? Some kind of an air oh. pump thing. We have we have a leaf blower. Yeah. Does that work? Yeah, let's try that. Great. Okay. All right. An air pump thing. Yeah, that's about as close as we got. All right. Now, leaf blowers can be loud, so if it's too loud for you, please feel free to cover your ears. All right. Chicken, are you ready? Yes. All right, here we go. To see if this will help chicken to fly. Here we go. Three. Two, one, one, go. Fly! Oh! Yeah. All right. Well, he, he went along the ground pretty good. <laughs> All right. Any, any more suggestions? Maybe one more suggestion of something we could try. Uh, how about uh, in the yellow t-shirt? Maybe put air inside of you? OK. <laughs> Uh, let's try this. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we have a bike pump. We could try putting... Uh, there we go. Go. One. Oh! Two. How many pumps? Two more? I don't think he's filling. I think Chicken has a hole in him somewhere. Oh, no. Another one? One more. Uh, uh, faster. Faster. Uh, and then fly! Uh, all right, it was, okay. a, it was a good suggestion. All right, let's think about this. In all of these suggestions, we've been trying to push the chicken, right? We tried throwing the chicken, that's a push. We tried with the leaf blower, that's a push. Can anybody think of something we could do that would involve a pull? Yeah, anything we could do to pull the chicken and then maybe it would launch? Anybody have an idea? How about in the pink shirt? A slingshot? Huh? I do have a slingshot. We did bring one. Yes. There we go. All right. So this is my chicken slingshot. Now, the chicken slingshot as you can see, has four noodly appendages, which means I need four volunteers. Uh, Emma, or Ellen, sorry, mm -hmm. would you uh, use the teacher assistants to select four volunteers who are sitting crisscross applesauce with a nice big smile and nice, uh, oh yep, so good, nice smile, sitting crisscross applesauce, so good, so good. All right. And I will get things started. One, four, come on down. One, two, one, two three, four. One. And I have one, my Hello. Two. Pop these on. Beautiful. Welcome. Beautiful. How many? Two more. Maybe okay. down the front? Two? No. Right. <laughs> and that for you, my friend. And one more. Let's go back row. All right. And okay, I'll both hands up in the air. You do? For you. He does. That's cool. All right, now let's you get uh, you, my friend, on this side. Uh, and you, my friend, are going to come on this side as well. All right, whoever's taller goes in the back. Yes. All right, everybody will take a noodle right appendage. A okay, noodle you for you, grab. and a noodle for Can you. you. Switch over. Noodle yeah. for you. And Perfect. Come to the front. All right. Bit. Not too far. All right, this way. Move this forward. Way, this way. Move forward. Forward, 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 forward. Perfect. Yeah. All right, now my chicken launch team. There is a special chicken launch noodle holding technique. All right, it is the classic. Let go for a second. Grab, wrap, and grab. All right, the classic grab, wrap, and grab. All right, so you're gonna grab, yeah, grab, and then wrap, and then grab it again. Yes, and then you're gonna put this right here. Ha, perfect. All right, 
Love it. Make sure you're holding with the other hand as well. Put this one up here. This hand here. Perfect. All right. Where's my chicken? Chicken, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. All right. Should I put the chicken here? No. No. Should I put the chicken here? No. Should I put the chicken here? No. No. Should I put the chicken here? No. Perfect. All right. Good. So, with our chicken, should I pull the slingshot this way? No. This way? No. This way? Yeah. This way? Yeah. Yes. We want to go down and back because what direction will it go? Oh. Up and forward. Wait. However, yeah. if it's going that way, that's true. Where is it going to? Into the audience. Exactly. So, how do we catch chickens? Exactly. Yeah. So, this means, nice and quiet. Three, two, one. Shh. So, this is our chicken launch team. All of you are the chicken catch team. All right? Now, chicken catch team, make sure we are still sitting crisscross applesauce, flat on the ground. All right? There is a special way that we catch chickens. We catch chickens like this or like this. We do not catch chickens like this. <laughs> okay? All right, here we go. Chicken launch team, everybody take one big step backwards. Perfect. And pull your noodles all the way up to the sky. Perfect. Do some chicken yoga. Ha! All right. Chicken launch team, are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Chicken catch team, are you ready? Yeah! All right. Let's see what happens when we have the pull to the push. Here we go. In three, two, nice and high. Three, two, one, go! Oh my goodness, so good! Oh. Coming back in three, Beautiful. two, one. Beautiful. So, we just saw a pull and a push. The reason this works is because when we push, we're only getting one force, right? When we pull back, we get the double the distance, right? So we get the double push, so it goes forwards even further. So that is another force that yes. we have. So we have our pull and we have our push. So let's do those two together. Ready? And pull, pull. and push. push. Beautiful. We, we have another force to show you as well. Oh, nice and quiet. Three, back two, one. Shh. We have another force to show you, and it involves some very scientific piece of equipment. Oh. Yes, yeah, my science paper. Yes. Ellen. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, you might know it as toilet paper, but when we're doing scientific demonstrations, we call it science paper. Okay. For this force, I'm going to need one volunteer. Great jacket, yeah. Okay. So, coming back. I am going to give, what was your name? Jacob, welcome. Here are two pieces of science paper for you. I will have two pieces of science paper and we are going to hold them like this between our fingers and our hands. So the other way around. So flip it like that. Yes, perfect. Okay, and we are going to blow over the top of our science paper. I want you all in the audience to watch what happens to our paper. down, but yeah, the paper is coming up. Exactly, it's because of this cool force called lift. Huh. Yeah, so lift means that that fast air that we're blowing over the top creates this space for the air underneath to want to go. So the air underneath is pushing up because air is very, very strong. In fact, this is how planes fly. Oh, they use lift. Cool. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, we've used two sheets of science paper. I'm wondering if we can increase this and see if we can use more air to blow a whole roll of toilet paper. Yeah. Jacob, I might get you to stand just here on this white line and we'll get some goggles on. To put these on. Awesome. Now, we'll face sideways, face towards Chelsea there. Okay, and put it right up above your head. Yes, and I am going to use all the air in my lungs and I'm going to count how many pieces of science paper she can lift. One. Oh, none. Okay. None. Chelsea, I might need some help. <laughs> One more go. Okay. Half. Oh. All right. Okay. I think you need more force. I think I definitely need oh. some more force. It's okay. It happens all the time. Yes. I think maybe we could use the, the leaf, leaf blower. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, let's give it a go. All right. Now, who thinks the so a person could lift one, sometimes none. <laughs> so, who thinks the leaf blower is going to be able to lift? I don't know, like five, ten, sixteen. Nobody. Th sh nobody thinks that we might get the whole roll, dude. Some people go, ah, oh, no, you're crazy. All right, here, okay. let's count. Okay, but audience, shh, shh, shh. I need your help. I need your help to count, all right? Uh, to make sure that I'm not uh, undercounting the number that uh, Ellen lifts up, all right? Okay. So help me right count. Here we go. Okay, in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Coming back in three, two, one. Ah, yeah. I think we definitely got 423. Ah. Yes, did you all count that? Ah. Yes. Ah. All right, give a round of applause to Jacob. Jacob. Thanks very much. Such a good job. Go, go. Ah. Oh. Ah. Now, ah. we call that force. Just gonna wait. And in three, two, one. So we call that force lift. So, so far we have seen a push, a pull, and a lift. lift. So let's do that together. Push, pull, lift. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we've come to my favorite force, friction. Does anybody know what friction is? Hands up if you know what friction is in the back. Exactly, like when you walk. Friction is what happens when two things push against each other. They kind of stick together a little bit. It helps that to be able to move forward when we walk. So for example, if you move your hands like this, pretty easy, right? But if you put your hands together like this, push on them, push really hard, and try and do the same thing. <laughs> it's a lot harder. Oh. All right, hands down. Yeah. This is friction. When two things push against each other, they kind of stick together. So, I have a dream where I want to open a restaurant. But a special kind of restaurant. Yes. Because normal restaurants will carry cups around like this. And I would like to be able to car carry cups around on a train like this. Yeah. I now, will definitely visit your restaurant, Chelsea. Right? Yeah. Thank you. All right. So, with this, because we know about friction, when two things push on each other, so gravity is helping this cup to push onto the tray. Push. 
we should get some friction. And that friction will definitely hold this on. As you can see, it stays wet. Ah! All right. All right, let's try it again. Let's try it again. This time I'll push yeah. on it a little bit more. Okay. All right, here we go. And as you can see, it stays on wet. Some people have an idea of what we could do. Hands up if you have an idea. Uh, how about here in the pink sweater? <coughs> Put water in the cup? Okay, I can try yeah. putting some water in the cup. Put some water in the cup. Grab it. All right. All right. Okay, three, two. One. Shh. Nice and quiet, please. <coughs> so we added water to the cup, which will increase the weight. And when you increase the weight, that increases the amount of push. So we have more friction. So when I spin it around, the cup should stay on the tray because it's heavier now. My question to you, though, now that I'm looking at it, this cup does not have a <coughs> lid which means when the water in the cup is over top of my head. <laughs> yeah. Will, Chelsea. All right, who thinks that, no Chelsea, you're totally gonna be fine. Who says, uh, no Chelsea, you're definitely gonna get wet. And who says, I don't know Chelsea, but I wanna find out. <laughs> nice, all right, okay. here we go, let's try. All right, here we go. And in three, two, one. It works! Oh my goodness! All but right. Chelsea, how, how do you stop? Uh oh. oh. Okay, all right, we'll just, we'll just go real slow. Here we go. Three. Two, one. <laughs> oh, well done. Oh, very yeah. stressful. It's a little touchy, are there? Okay, so we've seen four forces. So that there was friction. So all together we have a pull. A push, push, a lift, lift and friction. friction. All right, I think we have just enough time for a final demonstration that pulls together all of these forces. Mm -hmm. In fact, it, it is our bottle rocket. Yes. That is right. We are launching a rocket inside your gym. So, this is a regular two liter pop bottle. And the reason we're using this is because we believe science can be done with anything, including things uh, that you have after drinking a lot of Pepsi. Yes. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a bike pump to push more air inside this bottle. Now, air, air is a lot like people. Who here has been on a bus before? Nice, most people. Great. Now, when you're on a bus, if you had a choice, between being on a bus with a hundred other people, or you're squished in like this, somebody's eating like a fish sandwich, ugh, all right? Or you had the choice to be on a bus by yourself. Yeah. Right, you can lay back so nice. Which would you choose? You would choose the one where you have a lot more room. And air molecules are exactly the same. Air molecules want to go to where they have more space. So when we push lots of air molecules into the bottle, they get tighter and tighter and tighter and they just want to escape. So then when we pull our rocket launch platform, that air will all rush out and that push as they move their way out will launch the rocket into the air, lifting it up until gravity pulls it back down to the ground. Are you ready to see this? Yes. All right. We need two volunteers 
to be our rocket launch team. Ellen, would you gather the team and I will set up the launch materials. All right. Yes. Wonderful. Come on down. I'm gonna go to this side of the gym. Hello, my even you were looking and smiling. Oh, no. So wonderful. All wonderful. Right. Have you ever worked at bike pump yeah. before? No, that's all right. You're gonna be an expert. Come on over here. All right. So this is a bike pump. Goes up and down. Okay. All right. Put your feet Pop on the other down. side. Pull it up. Yeah. Wonderful. You are going to and put you down. Launch. Launch up. You're an expert. All right. Okay. Oh, perfect. All right. My friend, come have a seat down here. Right here. You are going to be my launch technician. When I say launch, you're going to pull this. Cool? Easy, right? Until then, I want you to make sure it stays on there nice and tight. All right. So we are going to start with three pumps of air to see how high it goes. Are you ready, my launch team? Perfect. All right. Audience. We have aimed our rocket this direction to hopefully avoid hitting anyone. However, sometimes rockets have a mind of their own. Mm -hmm. So if a rocket comes at your face, it is the same rules as a chicken. We catch it like this, or we catch it like this. We do not catch rockets like this. <sighs> okay? Perfect. Okay. Stop for a second. All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna do three pumps of air and see how high this rocket will go. Here we go. And one, and two, and three, and watch. Nice. All right. All right. Nice and quiet. Sitting down crisscross applesauce, nice and flat. I think we can get this higher. Yeah, all right. So three pumps. Three pumps got to about this high. So if we did five pumps, yeah? Who thinks it'll go higher? Who thinks it'll go further? Who thinks it'll spin around three times and turn into a unicorn? That's some people, some people, all right. Ellen, are you ready to catch? Yes, I'm ready. Perfect. Perfect, thank you. Into the hole, love it. All right, five pumps of air, you ready? Perfect, and one, and two. And three, and four, and five, and pull. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Yeah. All right, coming back in three, two, two, one. All right, now. There is a point where when we fill the bottle with air, we can't get any more air in, right? You can only get so many people in a bus before there's just no more room, yeah. right? And about five pumps is that much. However, there is another way that we can get a double push. Remember when we had the chicken? We pulled back in order to get a double push, right? So what we can do is we can add a little bit of water to the bottle. We only need a little bit because what the water is going to do, woo, so what the water is going to do is the water is going to act like a trap. Perfect. It's plenty. So the water is going to act like a trap. You see how no air can get through the end now? Because the water is acting like a wall. So all of the air is going to get in here. None of it can escape early. And then, when we launch, the air has to do a double push. Because it's not just pushing itself out, it has to push all the water out first. So we get all the water push, and then the air push. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the sound of that, Chelsea. Now, we have to make sure, we have to make sure we don't have too much water, because water is heavy, mm -hmm. and it will increase the friction and then the gravity will pull it down faster, right? So we only put a little bit of water in, just enough to create that little wall. Now, here's a question. If we launch our bottle rocket with water this way, what direction will the water go? This way. 
Yeah. Luckily, we can prepare. So, we have a poncho. Perfect. At Science oh. World, we believe that the safer you are, the more awesome you can be. Exactly. So we're going to be extra safe and make sure our friend uh, we, doesn't get wet. And we're going to back you up just a touch. We might put a towel with the launch pad down as well. All right. So we're going to put this in. Okay. This is going to be our last demonstration of the show. So no matter what happens, I want you to give a big round of applause to these two after the demonstration. All right. Perfect. So here we go. There we go. Nice. Oh, perfect. And let's just go under there. All right, I'm going to hide under here a little bit too. Ha. All right, here we go. We're aimed this direction. Perfect. We're going to go back to three pumps of air to see what happens. When we did three pumps of air, how high did it go? Just point. About mid high, right? Now let's see what happens. Same amount of air. The only difference is we added just a little bit of water. All right, are you ready, launch team? Are you ready, audience? Yeah. Are you ready, Ellen? Yeah. Perfect. Here we go. Three pumps of air. And one, two, two. three, and pull. Ah. Yeah. Our four forces, we had, let's go together, a pull, a push, a lift, and friction. Yeah. Now, if you would like to see some more science, we have a community gathering at the Northern Lights College in Dawson Creek on Saturday. So there's going to be a lot more demonstrations that you didn't see today. Uh, little leaflets have been left with your teachers, so you can take one home and have a look. Bring your parents, bring your brothers, your sisters. It is free. Uh, it's going to be a fun day. Yeah. So we would like to thank you for being a wonderful audience. Can you give yourselves a round of applause, please? Yes. Yeah. And let's give one more round of applause to your teachers for having us here today and inviting us in. It was so nice to be here. Thank you so much. All right. Now, we're going to ask everybody to get very quiet and sit down crisscross applesauce because we're going to turn you back over to your teachers. Sure. So Science World is um, a science, uh, a, a basically a STEAM-oriented uh, uh, charity or operating out of Vancouver uh, primarily, although we do have a focus throughout the province. So I work for Science World British Columbia, as evidenced by the shirt, uh, and we go all over the province doing free science shows at elementary schools all over the province. Uh, our mandate is to try and visit every elementary school in the province uh, within a five-year span. Uh, and I believe we are uh, in year four of five on that. Enough to create that little wall. Now, here's a question. If we launch our bottle rocket with water this way, what direction will the water go? This way. The best part of my job is the, uh, the, the suggestions we get from the kids. Uh, so we, off, we operate on an inquiry-based learning uh, model, which means we ask a lot of questions to get them to feel comfortable asking questions around the world, uh, about the world around them. So we ask them what they think we should try, and then we try it out on stage. So for example, this morning I had a student where we asked them, where did the water go in an experiment? And they said, uh, to Mexico. <laughs> Great, yes. <laughs> All right, five pumps of air, you ready? Perfect, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and pull! 
The most important thing for us is for kids to feel excited about science, to feel like it's accessible, it's fun, and it's exciting, and that it's not something that you only do in the science lab once a week with one specific teacher. It's something that you do in everyday life with objects around you, uh, and it's something that is fun and inclusive and exciting and, and brings joy. All restaurants will carry cups around like this. And I would like to be able to car carry cups around on a train like this. My favorite demonstration uh, in this show is actually probably the um, the Greek waiters tray. This uh, the friction demonstration, uh, just because it's very silly and the kids freak out, <laughs> which is my favorite reaction is getting. Uh, kids to get excited um, and impassioned about something that's an everyday occurrence, really, and something they can do at home.